Hey, what's up, people? This is uh, step one of the conversion to CNC, the ANET A8. Uh, so I'm gonna go over what you need um, and how to get it going. So basically, you're gonna need first thing you're gonna need to do is figure out a way to hold your spindle, which are these. Um, so you can, you know, if you know how to do some designing, you can design. And, uh, because these, you know, these are all going to be different sizes. So design one to the size of the spindle you have. And um, you feel free to, these are all up for free for download. This and this, uh, this X carriage. And they're all printable. So if you want to, you could just take this and try to modify it. Um, this one currently is for this. And now I'm going to use a better spindle. And this is the right size for that one. So basically, you can see I, I easily modified my first design. Um, you could probably even scale it down, but the holes have to match those four, those four holes that are there. So there's four there. <clears throat> um, so yeah, that's the first thing you're gonna need is to design your holder. You're gonna need a spindle. Now this this one I have, this cheap one, hundred dollar one, it didn't really work that well. And this one, this is a professional, really good one. This one's uh, maybe a thousand dollars. So um, that's the controller. Uh, so these run off one sixteenth bits. This runs off eighth inch bits. So this one's going to work a lot better. Um, basically, so you're going to need a spindle. You need your cutters, your eighth inch cutters. Um, you're going to need a plexiglass bed or some kind of, I wouldn't do an MDF board because it's going to weigh down the bed too much, so plexiglass is perfect. And then you're going to need hold downs, which is to hold the piece down. Okay, and that's why I have this plexiglass, uh, this plexiglass bed threaded in all these spots so I could find a place to to tie down this wax with or whatever you're cutting with a with the screw. And this, you know, so you can see this took me a while. I had to drill out all these holes and then uh, thread them with a tap. So you're gonna need a four millimeter tap if you want to do uh, four millimeter screws or three, you know, whatever screws you want to use. But <clears throat> yeah, I would rec. I don't know. I don't know if it, I don't think a wood's gonna work, but you could try it. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna need that. Your cutters, um, some kind of bed, and then uh, you're gonna have to flash your firmware. So if you're on a Marlin firmware, um, I'm gonna explain that in the next step. But this just went over what you need. So yeah, you're gonna need a spindle, a spindle controller. Um, your mount, cutters, and your bed. And that's really all you need. So, uh, I'll get into it on the next step. Thanks, guys.